Lesson 8, coordinate geometry, the perpendicular distance formula, that is the perpendicular distance from a point to a line. Now in this particular lesson, I'll just do the theory and the following lessons will be examples. Right, so we have to prove that the formula for the perpendicular distance P from the point x1, y1 to the line ax plus by plus c equals naught is given by P equals the absolute value of ax1 plus by1 plus c all over the square root of a squared plus b squared. There's, there's a number of different variations of, of proof of this, some of which are quite long. Hopefully you'll find this one's a little bit shorter. Okay, what I've done, I've, I've set up the axes here, and on the point x1, y1, I've drawn the line AC and CB, forming a triangle ACB. Now the idea is, we'll first of all work out the area of this triangle ACB, Right. and then we'll work out the distance of AB and P, which is the perpendicular height of the triangle. So P times half this base will equal the area of this triangle. That's the general idea. Now, first of all, we need to find out what the coordinates of A are. And we do that quite simply by substituting Y1 into this. And I'll let you do that. It's not a particularly difficult thing to do. And we get the result that the coordinates of A are minus BY1 minus C over A, Y1, and the coordinates of B, I'm substituting now the X1 into here, and rearranging, we get that the Y is minus AX1 minus C all over B. Okay, now, the length of AC, this one up here, will be equal to X1. So AC is equal to X1 minus this one. Now you just need to be careful with, the, with all these negative signs floating about. And that comes out to being equal to AX1 plus BY1 plus C all over A. Now BC, similarly, is equal to Y1, Y1, minus, minus AX1 minus C, this one here, all over B. And of course, that equals AX1 plus BY1 plus C all over B. Now the, so the area of this triangle, ACB, because these are radicals to each other, so the area of the triangle, the area is equal to half the base of this one times the height of that one. So that will be, because they're both the same, AX1 plus BY1 plus C all squared all over AB. Alright, now what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the area in a different way. I'll just write down what we had before. So you can look at this. So the area was half of AX1 plus BY1 plus C all squared over AB. Now, look at the area of the triangle, taking that base and this as the height. First of all, getting what AB is using the distance formula and the coordinates that we found earlier of A and B. We get that the area, oh sorry, that the AB first is equal to the square root of, now that will be x1 minus, minus by1 minus c on a, that's going to be all squared, plus y1 minus, minus 
minus AX1 minus C on B all squared. And of course that becomes You really have to be careful with these negative signs. It's going to be AX1 plus BY1 plus C all squared over A squared plus the same thing. AX1 plus BY1 plus C all squared, almost the same thing, over B squared. Now, we can take this out as a common factor, and it'll be a squared and a square root. We know that's the absolute value. So AX1 plus BY1 plus C outside the square root of, this will be 1 on A squared plus 1 on B squared. Now that becomes... square root of a squared plus b squared on a b. So the area is going to be a half p times ax1 plus by1 plus c square root of a squared plus b squared on a b. But that is equal to what we had up here, this half a half of a x1 plus b y1 plus c all squared all over a b and of course what will happen now the halves will cancel the a b's will cancel and you get that p is equal to now when you divide that absolute value in that perfect square then the top also becomes the absolute value, so that'll be the absolute value of AX1 plus B, Y1 plus C, because they're positives, all over the square root of A squared plus B squared, which is the required result.